Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So last time I talked about love your neighbor and what that really looks like. And this time I wanted to give kind of a contrasting viewpoint about loving someone in error, right? And loving someone in a way that is not actually pleasing to God and could continue to lead them on and enable them to sin, right? So let's look at Philippians 1 verse 9 and 10, which says, And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. So it's important to love people with discernment, right? And with wisdom, because it's entirely possible to love them in a way that is not pleasing to God, right? So for example, my dad told me a story where he was in a Bible study, right? And he was actually leading the Bible study. And there was a guy within the Bible study who was going around to every member and he was giving them this letter, right? And it was this, this sob story about how he can't pay his rent and he's really hurting financially and how his life's just kind of crumbling and all this stuff. And when he gave this letter to my dad, something within my dad, right? It was the Holy Spirit told him that there's something not right here, right? There's just something not right with this. But if my dad would have just read this letter and said, hey, you know what? Like this guy's asking the church for money. This is a situation. Like we got to help him out. We got to jump on it, right? He would have loved this guy in error. But what my dad did was the Holy Spirit kind of told him, you know what? This isn't, something's going on with this guy. So he dug a little bit deeper and he started investigating why this guy didn't have money to pay his rent, why he was struggling so much, why he was hurting financially. And it turns out that this guy didn't have any money because he was spending all his money on prostitutes, right? So if my dad and all these other people within the Bible study, within the church would have given this guy money, it would have just enabled this guy to continue on buying prostitutes, right? And he would have covered his rent with the church's money and he would have continued on just living in sin and just doing whatever he wanted. And that is just loving someone in error, right? A lot of times God will allow us to get to these points where we hit rock bottom, right? We'll be getting in a lot of trouble because that's when we see our need for him. That's when we see our desire for him. That's when we turn to him, right? And if someone just can, enables you to continue on doing these things, Right? They're enabling you in error. Right, They're helping you and loving you in error because they're just leading you further into temptation and into sin. You know, and it's the same thing for those of you that have children, right? Or you raise a kid. You take your kid to the store, right? And they see a toy that they really want. And you say, hey, you know what? Like Christian, I'm not going to buy you that toy today, right? We're not going to get you that toy, right? And the kid throws a tantrum. And he starts whining, complaining, and screaming and crying. You're just like, oh, you know what? Fine. Like I'll get the toy for you. You are now telling that child that it is okay to be disobedient. It is okay to throw a tantrum, right? And you are loving them in error. Your job as a parent is to raise them in a godly manner, right? And it's to raise them to be a responsible adult. And it's to raise them to respect other people and love other people, right? And respect authority. And you are just enabling them to go the opposite direction. You know, last example would be someone who might be in an abusive relationship. Right. Or maybe they're married to like an alcoholic. Right. Maybe you're a wife and your husband's an alcoholic and he's drinking all day long and getting wasted and abusing you and this and that. And you just tell him, you know what, like, I love you and support you no matter what. Like, it's OK if you want to throw me around, if you want to cuss me out, if you just want to get wasted every day, like, that's OK. You know what? I support you and I love you. Like, no, that's not OK. Right. Especially within a Christian home. That's not OK. And it's entirely okay for you to be like, hey, you know what? I'm packing my bags. I'm going to go stay with my family or I'm going to go stay with some friends until you clean your life up because I'm not going to support this anymore. I'm not going to support your lifestyle any longer. And I'm not saying go and divorce the person, right? Because that's not right either. But what I am saying is if you are in a situation where you are capable of leaving, right? And going and staying somewhere else until that person corrects their behavior and you've already tried to help them correct their behavior and they don't want to hear it, that is entirely okay. Right? That is loving someone correctly compared to enabling them to continue on in sin. And you know, it's entirely okay for you to pray and take some time and ask for more details when you see someone in need, right? It's not always the best thing to just offer them help right away, right? Especially if you feel the Holy Spirit maybe telling you that there's something not right, it's okay to pray about it, right? It's okay to say, hey, you know what? Like, 
I see you got a need for this. I know you asked me for help. Let me just pray first or let me just ask God for wisdom because I want to make sure that I'm helping you in the correct way, right? I'm helping you to the best of my ability. It's okay to say these things. It's okay to seek God. It's okay to dig and ask more details and find out more details about someone's situation because you could be loving them entirely in error in a way that is not pleasing to God. Okay, so God bless you guys. I know there's some people out there who just have such a loving and kind heart right and it's just you don't want to disappoint people you don't want to hurt their feelings and stuff like this and you know what god bless you guys because like, you truly are just gems right and it's just it's rare to find people like that nowadays who just love so hard right just love people so hard and when we're in this culture of just me 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 right and people's hearts are growing cold so at the same time it's okay for you guys to not help someone every single time, right? Especially if you know it's going to hurt them. And it's actually more loving of you to not support a bad decision that that person's making than it is if you would have enabled them to do so, right? So anyway, I love you guys. God bless you. And we'll see you guys next time.